Hello and welcome to Candle Pins for Cancer, live from Bolarama in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. All season long, we will be raising money for bowlers and their families for the fight against this terrible disease. To donate or take part, please go to Candlepins, the number four, cancer.com. Candlepins for cancer.com. Today, we're pleased to feature the stars of our final stepladder match, our ladder climber, Scott LaPierre, and our number one qualifier with a 732, Sean Baker. And your host, Paul Grant. Well, Greg Lee, I'm Bob Lee on Camp Bowling Network, and thank you for those watching New York and WN Sports Network. How about the number five seed? You're not supposed to be here on paper. Right. Five, yeah. beat four, beat three, beat two. Now, you're up against the hottest bowler right now, you could say, Sean Baker, who threw an 807, 228, nine pin tournament single yesterday. It was a lot of fun, huh, Sean? You had a 732 pin. qualifying yeah. round. Yeah, and now you're guaranteed $1,000. You rack up $500 in bonus money. I like it. I like it. Now a chance That's to fun. go number one. Let's do it. Come on, I'm ready to go. I told you we're in a wild shirt coming in the door. What's the difference? I know, might have been. Might have been. I agree. I All agree. Right. Good luck today. <laughs> Thank you. Sean Baker. Born like crazy lately. How do you do it consistently for all the years? Oh, just, you know, just always trying. Stay, stay ready to go. You know, I mean, you know, you have ups and downs and whatnot, but, you know, every day is a different day. So it would be good one day, it could be bad the next day. Who knows? But. One more thing before we start. You have a 1508 high 10. Yeah. 17 beyond the all time record of Al Johnson, 1525. What do you got to say, Al, about that? Um, I kind of let him off the hook a little bit, but, you know, it's, it's a, that's an amazing score. But, yeah. Awesome. All right, good luck today. All right, three string format, total pinfall determines the $2,000 first place prize, $1,000 the runner up. If there's a tie, a one string roll off. Portsmouth Bowling Rama, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, on Candle from Bowling Network and WN Sports New York. Let's bring Greg Lee and Bob. Yeah. I keep saying Greg Lee and Bob Guyar. Greg Guyar and Bob Lee. Thanks, Paul, and hello to everyone watching on Candlepin Bowling Network and indeed across the WON Media Network. If it's your first time watching Candlepin Bowling, boy, is this a good series. It plays just like big ball bowling, except you get three small balls instead of two big ones. And also, any pins on the plate stay on the plate and can be played as live wood. Format today, three strings total pinfall. Of course, bonus money available along the way as we heard Scott LaPierre racking up $500. LaPierre will start off on lane number nine. Bob Lee, thrilling series so far in this latter series. Yeah, Jeff, uh, after nine after nine consecutive Scott. strings. Scott LaPierre. Scott. <laughs> yeah, I get them mixed up too, right? Yep. No relation. I saw, saw uh, Jeff yesterday. Related to Jeff. Yeah. Scott, I don't <laughs> Nice start, nine. Who took second yesterday at the nine, at the nine, nine pin behind it? But boy, is Scott Baker. LaPierre making a name for himself. Eight strings out of nine, as if he has as if he's needed to. But on our show, eight out of nine in string victories. And he's going all the way from 5C to 1. One of the top balls in Maine. Six seventy-eight qualifying round. Right on it for oh, a spare. Yeah. Beat Brian Fuller Jr. by three pins to get into the latter series. $2,000 on the line. That's amazing. I, I'm, I'm, I love what I'm watching. I, I, I ran into him also Friday night at Academy where he, he was playing in the Pro Series. And he, he didn't have everything together, but he, he said his ball was starting to work for him. On the and look at that. Nine. Nudge the five pin. 19 in the first. What a start to the match. You get off and running against Sean Baker. <clears throat> Sean threw at 164 in the World Finals. Sean is big time. He just missed that single. He's made his first time. Made his first time. No, he's Takes his time. He's made it time to start back to back. Right out of the gate. Spare, spare. 29 in the ball through two. I'm going to give this guy like $1,000 just in bonus money. Yeah, you are. <laughs> It's not three, Sean it's Baker, behavioral mess. Can I trip him, like maybe? One thousand dollars. <laughs> You're the referee. Time this taping. <laughs> live here today and taped on WN Sports. Yeah. Just on Channel Five. Eight oh seven, nine pin win for a thousand dollars. Two twenty eight in the fifth <laughs> string. A state record, anyway. In Massachusetts. He's on lane ten. So if you wanted to slow these guys down, you can both on one out. Right. When we're speeding the show up, you go back and forth. And we want to in the, the pocket, up, seven. Right. Three, six, in the seven. Don Riley's with. That's tough. 
<laughs> Kale Pins, number four, cancer.com, a 501c3 charity. Baker, good try, won't go. The wood was just a little deep for that one. Any amount is welcome. Right. Candle pins number four, cancer.com, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars. Up to a thousand dollars to support a family. Nine to start his match. Already down ten. Up against a spare. That's Candle Pins the four, cancer.com to donate. And ladies, the women's live show coming to the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine on Candle Pinball Network. Saturday, January 14th, 11 a.m. Amanda Carroll, the number one seed, Glennis McKinley, two. Number three, Shannon Scribner. Number four, Deb DeRosia. Number five, Mario Capital T. Johnson. 11 a.m., Saturday, January 14th. Women's top five, Kellen for Cancer Roll-Off from the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. One of the finest outcomes you're going to see from a missed head pin there. One, three, covered nicely. Good spare. Bye. 19 the ball through two, down 10. Both on spares. Red Hot Scott Lapier, Scott Lapierre from Sanford, Maine, with a high symbol of 207, trying to go all the way to the top. Moving on up like the Jeffersons. Goes from five to four to three to two. Look at him, he's all excited with this. On the spare, goes right. Got six out of that, not bad. Not easy, one, two, six, ten. 35 through two in the first of three. Beautiful 22 lane facility, Portsmouth Bolarama, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Beautiful town to visit. Outside. Oh, wow, oh. what a shot! Three in a row! Uh oh. $25 oh. in bonus money. I ain't paying them. <laughs> Al Johnson has filed for bankruptcy. <laughs> Did you see how the 10 pin got confused and didn't know which way to fall? My goodness, what a shot. Al Johnson paying his own money for the bonus ball. money. That's all. Let's pay him. And this will well, not be music. Money back. And this will not be music. Al's ears. It's still alive. On the bonus, crossing off thin hit. Gets seven, three, hmm. nine, the ten. Once again, playing traffic cop. That's the third time he's done that in this latter series. All ah, right. Inspect this wood here. Three, nine, and ten. I, it wasn't forming a perfect ram to three anymore. It slid just a little off. But wood in front of the ten. This has a chance, but double wood's always difficult as is. 52 through three, oh, another one! Oh. Wow! Four in a row to start the finals! What a start! 62 through four! He fouled on that last one, that wasn't a mark. <laughs> Plus one. <laughs> There's a light for that. <laughs> There's. Well, oh. we're getting amped up for the spares because strikes are rare in this game, so. Any mark, any way, is a big deal. Sean Baker on a spare. 19 the ball through two. Oh. Nice ball, nine. How Six pin that? left up, a great piece of wood. This should be a layup. 28 through two. What a start for both bowlers. Out of the gate, like a ball in a china shop. He better have some, like, some really good balls in his, in his arsenal. He's got two in a row. 38 in the ball through three. Al, how much money have you raised today so far? Uh, it was 13. 75. So every show we've done, over $1,000 donated. Thank you for all the people. And the bowl, one of the bowlers here gave us a $500 donation today also. And we have the uh, $250 donation from uh, Mike Morin for his, for his calendars. Baker, the Susie special to Matt Susie. We made this a Sunday Pro League, so I caught the Susie special. Our good friend Matt Susie won the Atlanta Cane Open Singles Tour Pro Division last year. That's on a spare, 45 through three. Actually, if he, if he plays that red, if, if he can pull, if he hits the red band and that, that wood on the right, if he hits that red band and the wood on the right, it might kick off the wall because there's great wall action here, or he's going to spin it right at the left side of the five, and the five will go to the 10, and the wood will grab that seven. I'm thinking he's going right down the middle. Missed it. We're trying to see if you're a profit or a fraud. <laughs> Six marks and eight marks. There is two shots here. That's the one. Wow. Wow, that's a tough ball grand special. Miss the second, make the third. A beautiful shot. A tough lock 10. 55 through four. Didn't want the bonus money, I guess. Didn't want the bonus money. Al Johnson, the 10 string record of a Sean Baker. Sean only one of three bowlers to hit 1,500 for 10 strings. Hang on, Lapierre's still looting. 
Lapia's got four in a row to start, and he gets a break. That's the second time he's double tapped the pin. A wiggling six pin, it looks like, and the seven. Hey, look at the wood. 70 through four. Check that wood on. is being checked by Dave yeah, here at Bolarama. The piece on the left is out front. Nothing bothers Sean Baker. You could be up by 50 pins, and it's nothing for him. That is true. <laughs> you, you could be having triple against him. He's never given up. You saw World's coverage on Alley, Chad. Boy, was he putting Lucky Strike on his back there. Not this time. Thank you. <laughs> Hell says thank you for the bonus money. He's got $50 already this string. Foul ball. And that's no good. That's a nine. 79 half. What a start here in this championship match. $2,000 to the winner, $1,000 to the runner up. So the rule in candle pin, you must not hit, you must not throw a gutter ball basically. So since the ball hit the pin in the gutter before anything else, it's foul and the pin does not count. Craig, how much does he have in bonus by about $600 now? Uh, 25 for each string you've won. You've won. He's won eight of nine strings already, won eight in a row. He came into this with $500 in bonus money and four marks in a row gives $50 extra already as is. Five fifty so far. Crossing over the Brooklyn side, some call it. He's got the five, nine, and the ten. Wood to help. Won't be easy. So right now he's What's up, New York? Right? He's at five fifty. Five fifty. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it requires special permission to take that much out of the 18. The only ball in this ladder series in the state of Maine. Perfect. Two women from Maine. January 14th. Good try, nothing doing. Zero. Oof. Wood coming out of play. Dave will remove that wood again. Possibly. I rolled back slightly. Another candle pin bowling rule. If the wood comes forward of the deadwood line, which is two feet in front of the pin deck, then it must be removed. Touching her this way, of course. And it is so. Like WN Sports New York and Candle Pin Bowling Network. Candle Pins for Cancer. Final round. Ladder two, season two. Nice wow. out, nine. Okay. Right, it was close. 88 through six in the first of three from New Hampshire. Sean Baker, who just missed that 5-7-10 in the second shot, made it on the third, 55 through four. Box to box, down 15. Up against two open boxes from Scott Lapierre. On the head, nose there, and he gets a break on the right. Now it's the 4-7 left for a spare. Is that wood gonna latch onto the four pin? Ooh, I think it's in front. Pin cam, you get a good view of it through pin cam. I, I think that's going to be tricky. That's a little bit too far out in front to be uh, to slam to slam the uh, seven pin easily. Let's see. Oh, the, oh this just he collapsed like up. a snowplow. Sixty-five up. through half, way through the first. It's so easy for the ball to deflect away as we've seen before. Expertly played on the end cap. Three spears in the last four boxes. No bonus money. Two high-grade bowlers. We're in for a good one here. Baker on the bonus. Just three. Pushed it right. 68 half. Down 11. Box to box. Oh, wow! What a shot for a spare! Wow! I could have sworn there were pins on the deck a moment ago. 78 through six plus the ball. Down 10, but on a spare. Up next, just the first string. Tremendous shot. He's unhappy. I wish he had more than that three fill. Bullet was never satisfied. That was a strike ball. That was a beautiful ball. He did throw just a the fire ball. in the belly. Crossing over has the triangle. Three, five, and the six, the seven left. All right, is this wood bridging the five, seven? I don't know. It's out, no, there. it's come forward now, so not really available for LaPierre. Unless it rolls back, hang on. Four spares to start the string open the last two. He's got to splash the three pin. Fills of nine, Into nine, six, five. and seven. 
Can he kick it over? Oh, what he a try. It. He got Again. the seven. Wood's coming back, but not enough on it. Couldn't find an electric charging station. <laughs> Four spares and three splits, essentially. LaPierre, who has won his past three matches to make it to this point. Oh, it's fast now. That corner pin goes, but the object pin near the object pin doesn't go. That's Kellen and bowling. Just like golf. Looks like hitting the triangle. Highs and lows. Gets That's a 10. It. 98 through 7 in the first of three. Really good 10. We've seen the close margin in the last match and how much a few pins one way or another can change the outcome. Never underestimate the power of the third ball. A bowler does so at their own risk, certainly. 124 season high for average for a career. Again, the head pin. Oh, five. And before the five go, go. Ahead, it's it going. does on the delay. The five is the last. The Strike. Ball. It was on a crossover side hit, so I was worried the five would stand. Crossovers leaving kinks and all that, but nope, sliding wood across the plate. He likes, how, he likes how slow motion strikes. One away plus two through eight. But there's no time limit, of course. The automatic pin setter, of course, kicks in on the third ball. But before then, you can wait as long as you want. That's one of the advantages of not having a pin sweep between balls. Folks, this is above average bowling, to say the very, very least. In the context of Candlepin, this is tremendous. Sean Baker on the spare, on the head pin. Tough split. Not happy with that leave. Two, four, seven left, six, ten on the right, 83 through six. Average spare fill of six. Excuse me, Paul, sorry. Oh, oh my oh, God, you shot that one! The two, four, seven, six, ten, ridiculous! It's my favorite bad leave of all time. It's so pretty to see the pin shoot across. Incredible shot. What a shot for a spare. Give that man some bonus money, three in a row. 93 and a ball through seven. First of three strings. Final round for $2,000. On the bonus. Still six. averaging. Still averaging six, excuse me. 105 through eight. Three, six, ten. Eight to the left. Three and one split there. The wood is vertical. 99 through seven. This will be tricky, but doable. Oh, he got it off the wall. He's got four in a row. And another split conversion. 109, the ball through eight. Wow! Look at the margins on your screen, folks. Look at how high up we already are. 28 and 29 ahead of schedule. So easily on pace for 130 strings each. And we're not done yet. Takes a one pin lead plus a bonus ball. And that's why you cannot take your foot off the gas. Again, Sean Baker. Ooh. And here's the Dave Chestikov lead the 4 2 split. Scott out of the gate, four marks in a row, 70 through four, but open since then. Still in the bonus, though. No, Scott, Scott oh, so he's a on a strike he's now. On a strike, now. on a strike since those first four boxes. It was slow for. Slow this for is pretty when it goes. And ends up with a 2 six. 2 split, six on the strike. That's 114. 114 through eight. Ooh. Tough six. 120 through nine, need to mark to win the string. But again, total pinfall for three strings. Bottom line, that's all that matters. That's right, so. $25 one, for the string one. One six is not usually the end all be all. We'll see, but. Tough pair of boxes. This time he's off target, but left the four horsemen right side on the diagonal. From left to right, that's the one, three, six, and 10. For a spare, no, one, four, one, six, and ten left up. Now, now here comes a classic conundrum in candle pin tactics. Do you go for the two on the right side and go for the safe shot? I go for the two here. Go for the right side. Unless you need it, you don't go for it. But he is. Aggressive. And that's a Paul Grant shot, right? Make my mind. Seven box, 127 above his average, but it won't be enough. Shot's got four marks in the row. 50. Yeah, 50, 50 plus the 25 you're paying for top of the string anyway. Thank you for doing that.
Sean Baker on a spear, one and nine in the ball, on the head pin, nine! Almost a strike! It was on the 10 pin, almost like right next to it vertically. Mercy, what a nine drop. 118 through eight. For five in a row, got it! What a string! 128 in a ball through nine. He's already won the first. Scott said he knew he's in for a tough battle here. On the fill, head pin hit again. 10 right corner, 247 left. A piece of wood possibly help. 134 through nine. Just a great guy to watch bowl. Boy, do this one, almost. Oh. Streak finally stops there. Nine box, Al Johnson had to rob a bank if you got that one. Nine in the box, 143. What a string. 143, One down, two to go. On oh, up and Bowl Network and WN Sports. Paul Grant, Bob Lee, Greg Gouya with you live. Five splits on that side for Sean, and he, he, he converted as, as he saw, I, I think, um, at least two of those were, were converted. In the All right, we'll start a second string in just yeah. a moment here. Right. It, it was two split conversions, that's right. Yeah. And along that five mark chain, so already $100 in bonus money for Sean Baker. $75 for five marks in a row and $25 for the string win, of course. Candle Prince for Cancer, a 501c3 charity. Please help donate to Bola's charity. Candle Prince with a four, cancer.com. Any amount is appreciated. Make, put a smile on someone's face this holiday season all year round. Please consider candlepinsforcancer.com. Any amount is welcome. Thank you for your generosity and your support. Candle Pins with a four, cancer.com. We'll start a second string on lane number nine. Um, or is it ten? I think it's, yeah, it's ten. Sean, Sean, Sean will start for lane, lane ten. Lane. Sean will start the second string. Got the 16 after one. 143, 127. Just a fun match. And Scott Lappy has been brilliant overall in this latter series. Number five C. The right house. <laughs> I see how main is, but yeah. I mean, fifty dollars a lot here for the four months, by the way. Total five fifty for him so far. Hundred, yeah. Second string underway. Back in the head, pin for a strike. That looked good. Has the five and seven wood to help. Three pieces. I mean, the pins fly here, but boy, were they flying at Academy Lanes yesterday. He took part in a nine pin. Some of you may know this as the no tap format, where a nine drop is awarded a strike, and he had eight of those so-called strikes by that definition. So it would have been like a 159 in classic candle pin scoring, but ends up with a 224 in that format. 228. 228. They missed that one. Simply didn't go. So that would have been a spare in the, in the nine pin format. Be a spare. It, right. He had nine. It was nice. <laughs> Baker missed it for a nine to start the second. And if I could run the joke into the ground, how much does a four get awarded? <laughs> in the fourth box, four. <laughs> Sean Baker averaging 120 in league play, give or take a couple of pins. High single 213, high triple 493, an amazing high five, 793. On the head pin, nine. Eight pin remains. Now, where's this wood going to stop? That's the question. Is it going to be annoyingly in the way or give Baker a lane? He's going up right now to study that. It's high 10, 1508, high 20, 2708. Six Pro Tour victories, two Easter Classic titles, also 20 string matches, over 50 television appearances. He doesn't have the consult of his world's team, Lucky Strike. That's the lanes you see on the back of his shirt, of course. Lucky Strike, a former Candle Pit House, but synonymous with some of the greatest names in the game, obviously. All right. He's, he's thinking really hard about this one. And Watch for something. I think I, I just saw him point to the left. Yep. When right. he, was, he was going for that wooden trying to, he was going to send it to the left. I thought he might cap the one on the left. I, the one on the left. What do it, I know? What do I know? He capped it. The, it, would, it would only gone through if the ball went yeah, off the wall, maybe. See off. what I'm saying? <laughs> well, that's that's why you didn't do it, because he was going to swing right by, and then, and then it bounced off the wall. Tough break there. Points. Anyway, 10. Yeah. 
19. 19 to 2 here in the second of three. And the ball returned all the way to him. Right. Uh, by the way, a little note about pinning here. LaPierre left nine pins standing in Baker, only two. So a bit of an advantage opening up there as well. Sean won the first. 143 to 127. Had five marks in a row. It's nine. Look at the triangle. That's the two pin for a spare chance. The counterpoint is that LaPierre has been filling no less than a six, and Baker has had some heartbreakers there with three fills and five fills. Interesting two pieces of wood here. One three and one five fill, I beg your pardon. Try to plow through it, it does. Send the ball to start the second to three. This time the cap does cooperate. Who's to say it would have worked on Baker's shot? I mean, it was a slightly different angle there and anything could have happened. But here, it cooperates for LaPierre and he's on the board in the first again. His mother here in attendance, a national champion in her own right. Hope she's been able to spend a few hours. Scott's still at it. One seven left up on the spear. 18 to 1. Up 11. Box to box in the string. About five in the match. Three chance for two in a row. Hit four in a row to start the first. Trying to go back to back. Oh, oh yes! yes! Oh, he's got some lucky breaks. Wow. Sigh of relief, 28 in the ball through two. He'll take it. Right, take, take note that this is the first time Scott LaPierre has been behind since the middle of that Dean Sullivan match, uh, when, when Sullivan took a one pin lead at any exchange. So just, just the last last two exchanges. Luck is the residue of design. Sean Pickett on nine in the string of seven in the match. But Scott LaPierre in a spare next can tie it up. Take the lead. 2,000 for the winner, 1,000 for the runner up. There was a momentary distraction that threw Sean off. Ooh. Baker. Oh. Bullseye shot, the 1 5 sent to Worcester. Brutal. Ugh. Keep track of those. I guess the only solace is it's not on a spare fill, but boy, oh boy. Second split. Gotta work out of it. Better bunch. He's a fine. That's yes. about the best possible. Yes, he's world record in doubles with Jack Ray. And New Hampshire doubles title with Bill Treat. Nice shot. Great Disaster. Nine. 28 through 3 in the second of 3 in Portsmouth. Still hanging on to the pins. Won well, multiple New Hampshire and Massachusetts state titles as well. Impressive resume. Still going at an exceptionally high level in his money. Beautiful shot, strike! Yeah. <laughs> right wow. in the pocket. 38 plus two through four. Four straight head pin hits and there it is. Relentless. Seriously, relentless. Okay, they donate to the charity Candle Pins with a four, cancel.com. Candle Pins, number four, cancel.com. Any amount helps support the Candle Pins community and their family members going through cancer treatments. Scott not yeah, here for that, strike nine. Woodling eight. Big count. Yeah. On the spare. Oh, spare capped at 40 bucks or something. Eight spare nine. 37 through two in string number two. He'd probably do well to spin it, at least on the right side of that wood. Just it's go right bonus at, money. Just go right at the pin. And he got it. Ooh. Three in a row. Twenty-five dollars in bonus money. 47 and a ball through three. What a match. So high grade. And it's been the completely accurate three straight head pin hits, three straight spare conversions. On the fill, in the pocket, nine, ten, strike, strike on spare. Wow, he's got four marks in a row. 57 through three, 67 plus two through four. Magnificent! This is LaPierre's 11th string of the day. We film all our episodes on the same day, and he hasn't lost any steam. Incredible. <laughs> Al Johnson's gone underground. The number you have called is out of service. I do well on you. 
Sean Baker off to the left. Has a post, working on a strike on lane 10. Scott Lampy have four marks to start the first, four marks to start the second. This is awesome. Still strike filling is Sean. Baker, what a try. And ends up with the NFL goal pulse to 7-10. No wood, no luck. It's just incredible how the pins just rip apart when Baker's bowling. And a pro bowling shot there on the single pin at nine. 55 this half. Is pro bowl. One of the best bowlers in Massachusetts, one of the best bowlers in Maine. Head to head here for two thousand dollars. Baker is open at fifty-five through five. He's got the high low jack for one seven ten. Sean throwing those those pitches forty miles an hour out of his hand. High-low jacks seem to be left here at Bolorama more than in other places. It's usually something you'd see after the second ball. Nice try on the head pin, won't go. Another goal pulls. He had a strike eight in the fourth box. High-low jack a shot with a lot of prestige and history, especially from the old Channel 5 show, where a progressive jackpot in the thousands sometimes would be awarded to bowlers who could make that shot in one ball. Baker and nine, 64 through six. Halfway point of the match. The number five seed, Scott Lapia from Sanford, Maine, on a strike, 67 already through four, plus two bonus balls. Most left, only three, make it four. And still filling the strike. Notice how the fills have been increasing every step of the way, eight, nine, and 10. Has a four horseman plus the seven and the five behind the head pin. Yep. And per Candlepin Bowling Network stats, the average spare fill is 6.5. 6.3, actually. Excuse me. 6.5, 8.3 for strike, I should say. But but on a strike, there would be 8.3. 8.3, yep. Uh -huh. Six and a half in a spare, 8.3 in a strike Five officially. <laughs> Five on that one, though. Five in that strike, 72 through four. Check mark. Ends up with an eight. 80, half. The first two ladder series, he had a 163 and a 150 in the third string in the first two ladder rounds. He actually is. At a 419 in the first ladder, 399 in the second, 360 in the third. In the pocket, eight. Five left, nine right, wood to help. No lead is safe against Sean Baker. Am I correct that LaPierre's been on the headpin every single box and always with a good lead? Scott feeling it this whole series. Spare. 90 and a ball through six in the second of three. No, the fifth box is a uh, miss, but five out of six in every single time a mark. Baker's accuracy is comparable, but a split a few times. That happened in the first string a few times, but we've seen how that doesn't deter him. Sean Baker goes right, one, two, seven, eight, and nine. He's a little behind. He bowled a five stringer just yesterday. Won a thousand dollars yesterday in the nine pin tournament at Academy Lane, Haverhill, Mass, and just missed that pin. That's the one in the nine. He's guaranteed a thousand today as a runner up and two thousand to win. And now Josh was saying earlier, the way Scott Lappy is getting that bonus money, he can get the same money if he's runner up. With the, with the bonus money. And nice 10 for that shot. Nice out. 74 through seven for Sean Baker. Every pin mid. batters, nothing lower than a nine in this string. We're past the midpoint, and right now the bowlers are tied, but Baker is, has an extra box. Which means LaPierre is in the lead. Sean, a 2-2 split, 3-6 right, 2-4 left. He bowled a clinic match with Chris Sargent here. November 6th, you can watch it on Canlip and Ball Network. A great match. All three strings. What a try, Ooh. almost. Woods rolling back, but misses the pin. Settles for nine. 83 through eight here in the second. And Scott Lapierre up seven. 84 through eight, I should say. That was a nine, right? That should be 83. Yep. 
Yep. Bowler Rama School Bus Vaughn will fix that. It's 83. They don't see that. Yep. They, they are 83 through 8. Ball has got it right as usual. Scott Lampy at 90 and a ball through 6 on lane 10. A lemon drop. $5 for Caleb Fitz for cancer on that one. He can afford a lot of bonus money. Talk about momentum, momentum killer. Good second ball, almost pulled it off. Oh wow! Ninety-one through six. Ten. Ten for uh, Scott Lapierre. One hundred one through seven. Good rebound after the lemon drop. That's right, his, his match lead is two plus whatever he puts up in this eighth box. We have one right. bowler has 12 to play with, Sean Baker, Scott, one 13. Nice ball, nine. Oh, that's he would nudge the five. Another thunderous drop, not a single right. split. It's coming out in front. He's been excellent through most of this latter series, a little bit under his average, and with a 120 average in that third round. I think it's got it covered. I'm not sure. It's still a little bit out in front, but I think the, the pin settled back in front of the five pin here. Let's see how it goes. Shooting for a spare. Got, got it. it. Yep. It was there. <laughs> One 11 and a ball through eight here in the second. Trying to do the unthinkable. Very Not too often you see a five per person in the ladder series go all the way to the top and win. Seating isn't everything in a Candlepin uh, tournament. Anything can happen any given day. And boy, is LaPierre having a day. Sean, 732 in the qualifying round. Scott LaPierre with 678 and a perfect shot. And you get a spread eagle out of it. One in 100 chance by Pro Bolo's average. Just missed the object pin. That's the two left, 3 six, 10 right. We just fired up the radar gun. 38 miles an hour. Yeah, he, he hit 40 earlier, too. Eight box. 91 through nine. Not his best stuff this string. One strike, the only mark in the string with an eight fill. He's pinned well overall. Scott trying to pull up, build a big cushion here, going to the third on a spare up next. Baker could use a mark, and he gets a 2-2 split. Decent piece of wood between the 2 and the 4, but still a tough shot trying to get to the 6-10 right. And he got it! Wow, what a shot! Oh, oh, that's his third split conversion. That was what a shot for a spare. Unbelievable. One-on-one -on, -one on the ball in the 10th. That's right. So one final ball at this 10th frame to establish his final score. And another sensational Boy, he, split. He needed that one. That's why he's never out of a shot. And takes advantage of the spare seven to end the second string. 108. 143, 108, 251 through two. And Red Hot Scott Lapierre for Maine. 111 in a ball through eight on Kenneth Mullen Network in WN Sports New York. Close to 40 miles an hour on that last shot. Six marks in the string. Five spares in a strike. Make it again. Make it eight. Make it nine. And he nudged the three pin. Big nine in the fill. Still not a single split for Lop here. My goodness, he went a whole string where he had about five splits. Okay. <laughs> Greg can do Scott, it. Scott, Scott, Scott. Scott fixing that score, Ken. One twenty to eight. Five Pro Series title. titles under his belt. One with Craig Holbrook, Canelpin Hall of Famer. For another one. He's got it. Back to back spares. One thirty in a ball from now. One strike, six spares. Scott Lapp, yeah, bowling like Sean Baker. <laughs> it's 
So fixing the score cam up there. Al, Al Johnson doing the work now. Oh, um, the speed of the ball? Yeah. Another, another so chance at the bonus, though. Two spheres in a row. Below the ninth, tenth frame. Below the ninth, tenth frame, yeah. Yeah, it's That's miles it right per hour, yeah. Oh, okay. Happy year on the bonus. A half Worcester, just a killer. 36 mile an hour fastball. 134. 132, rather, through 9. 132 through 9. 134 total, those two so far. Why is it going? Ooh! Oh. That's up with a 4 7 10 split. Pretty good mix. Gotta fight for every pin in this game sometimes, Trying even when you are going as hot. Trying to get at least two hit, Greg, for a 141 string. Trying to get 143 in the first. Oh, really nice shot. How about that? What a string. God appreciates that one. 142. Second string. 269. Remember I told you about the that wall? And all of a sudden, a 16 point right. deficit turns into an 18 pin right. lead with on. one string to go on Count the Bowling Network. Go home for all things Count the Bowling. Count the Bowling Network, free on YouTube. Like, share, subscribe. No credit card required. Count the Bowling Network on YouTube and WN Sports New York. W Sports in New York. Jonathan Rios. Fantastic. Matt will right. start the third and final string. We'll take a moment to get, get his breath. Sean won by 16. Scott won that by 34. Yeah, so 12 marks to nine, basically. So Scott LaPierre, about uh, six apiece. $2,000 on the line for first, 1000 for the runner up. Scott trying to go all the way from fifth seed to win the number one seed. Yeah. Final nut string on the way. From Portsmouth, New Hampshire, pull around with Paul Grant, Bob Lee, Greg Guya. And there is a strike to stop the final string. Wow! He's been terrific this whole series. We may have just taken a commercial break, but boy, La Pierce's momentum has not been broken up whatsoever. All star, we walked in with that wow shirt. <laughs> Power on the wow. On the nose. Four, four bumps. Four. Oh boy. Seven ten corner post wood. Mm, a little tricky. Seven could ten. Could spin around. I think it's going to go left on that. Wood on the seven. Okay. See how he plays it. So be 18 seven ten isn't the end all be all in this game. Yeah. Wood is available yeah, out front. Strike the ball. The ball. Oh, 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 just missed the ten. So nine that strike. Nineteen through one. He's up for ten. Twenty nine through two. He's racked up the mileage and the bonus money. Greg, what's he got for bonus money here overall in the ladder series? Oh. Let's have a look here. I got to add another 25. I'm thinking at Fort Park Place, a boardwalk, please. Get that bonus money. And he won the second string, so it's 120. Uh, is that right? $125 right now? 50, 50, and 25. Yeah. 625 okay. total. Wow. Sean Baker, spread eagle plus the nine. Starting his third. Down 16 coming in. It's his third one of those. Good offer. Not accepted. 3, 6, 10 right, 7 left. Trying to get 3 here. Move on to the next box. Shots Ooh. off the archer pin for a 7. Our 7 indeed. Every ball with a strength 28 in the match. One last time, we should mention uh, the reason for the why we're doing this, Candlepins for Cancer. You can log on to Candlepins, the number four, cancer.com. To go online to donate and hear about all our upcoming events as well, any support you can give is appreciated. It goes to bowlers and their families directly at a time when they need it most in the fight against cancer. Then hit the F3 for Baker. Put together five marks thrown. First string at 143 and a 108 in the second. 
And Scott returned the favor with a 142 in the second after a 127 first. And Sean with a Pro 10. 17 for 2. Down 12 in the string. 28 in the match. Eight boxes to go. Shout out to the Lady Bowlers, Caleb Pitts for Cancer live show at the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine, Saturday, January 14th, 11 a.m. on Caleb and Bowling Network. Like, share, subscribe, get notified so you don't miss a beat. Caleb and Bowling Network. You're home for all things Caleb and Bowling. Top 5, January 14th. Scott has the 1, 2, and the 10. Amanda Carroll, the number 1 seed. Number 2 seed, Glennis McKinley. Number 3 seed, Shannon Scribner. Number 4 seed, Deb DeRozier. Number 5 seed, Mario Capital T. Johnson. Saturday, January 14th, live on Captain Bowling Network. And later on WO New York. Oh, oh my five. goodness, a piece went of either side of the 10. 13 marks to 9 in LaPierre's favor. But some of them have been one fill and two fill. Nine that time, 38 through 3 in string number 3. High triple of 460, high five, 727. To go with this high single of 207, which you can watch on YouTube. Did that in Fitchburg, Mass. in the Pro Series in the finals, 2011. Had been hit, eight, five right, four left. Yeah. And playing that traffic cop again. Walk this way, and he's got the piece of wood. It didn't really turn all that much. It's mostly horizontal behind the five pin. He's kind of an all good think about this one. I don't want to influence his shot by talking too loudly. Can he perhaps helicopter it over somehow? Perhaps on the right side of the wood and the right side of the pin? He's going left! No. Three close calls in a row. Haven't gone his way. That's the beauty of candle pin. You have so many different pieces of wood, an infinitely, infinite array of spare leaves, and sometimes more than one correct way to play it. Scott Lapierre, 10, 48 through 4 here in the third. $3,000 on the line, $2,000 for the winner, $1,000 for the runner-up. And Sean Baker needs two marks here to make it a close match. Yeah. Tie or take the lead. Baker's saying the, the difference was up four, four marks on the uh, match so far? Four marks in the match so yeah. far. Yeah. Yep. Well, Sean it's down 16 coming in. The strength. Beautiful ball, 9. Kingpin left up the five pin. A guide to the left. Go right at it. Right at that pin. The only trap is stubbing it right on the cap, in which case it could just thud straight backwards. For a spare. Yep. Who needs the wood? 27 the ball through three. Laser accurate shot. Another mark, and we're going to have a virtual tie or a lead change. Such high grade bowling. Just a treat to watch these two bowlers here. Baker goes right, just five on the fill. 32 through three. Box to box, down six in the string, 22 in the match. Up against a 10. Sometimes you steal more on that outer pocket, not this time. For a spare. Oh, so close. Ah, oh, a lot of oohs and ahs here in the crowd. Which is getting bigger. I mean, part of it is the birthday party thinned out here at this family fun bolorama. Baker at 10, 42 through 4, down 6 in the string, 22 in the match, 6 boxes to go. 24 officially. But all focus now on this match. No, it should be 24. No, no, it's right, it's right, it's right. The scoreboard up there is right. Seven, yeah, it's 24. This is correct. Okay. Yes! A strike for Lapierre! Yeah. Shaw was up 16 up to one, Storm was up 18 up to two, my mistake. And a strike in the fifth, 58 plus two. Better? Second strike of the string. Okay. Double would be deadly. We haven't seen it in this ladder series. They're very rare, but scores add up in a hurry if you do. For a double! Almost! Oh. Stay up. Six pin left up. Al Johnson cannot take any more bonus money. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Nice guy, Al. 
I know, just kidding. Spear on strike right between the two pieces of wood. What a shot. A sniper. Spear on strike. 68 half. 78 of all through six. Wow. Sean Baker keeps a couple of marks. In the pocket. Seven. Ooh. Left triangle. Four. Seven. Eight. Is that piece of wood helping? I hope it doesn't deflect the four away. It looks like it's turned slightly, we see on pin cam down here. For a spare. Oh, yeah. oh you can be kidding me. Yeah, it was. Mm. The old roadblock. Tough break for Baker. Gets the 10, 52 half. Down 16 in the string, 34 in the match. Never gets a spare. He did get a 10. I need to correct that. Yep. Baker, four horsemen plus the 7 8. You might need to mark out. Clutch shot, but just missed. Another close call. Raise a thin margin. Between a spare and a nine. Nine it is, 61 through six. Scott up 17 in the string, plus a bonus ball. 35 in the match, four boxes to go. The main man from Sanford, Maine. Trying to go from all the way from the bottom, all the way to the top. He's a winner no matter what, that's for sure. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Just a great performance. Pulled out, pulled out a tough match against Dean Sullivan last match. Not happy to get that five fill, but happy to climb the ladder and win bonus money every step of the way. 83 through six here in the third. Already at $625 in bonus money. 500 previously, 125 today. And the difference is growing. Good mm. bid. Four, seven left up. Good chance for a 10 here with the wood. Ten. Ninety-three through seven. Thank you for watching on Canlip and Bowling Network and across the WN Sports Network in New York. Nothing like the great game of Canlip and Bowling. Come out in the New England area, Canada area, Eastern Canada. Check out Canlip and Bowling. Some places in New York, also in Ohio. Albany. Yep, that's right. Albany, New York. Nice ball strike. Five is the last of all. One hundred three plus two through eight. <laughs> Feeling it here in the third. Big time strike. Three strikes in the string for Scott Lapierre. Wow. So the difference is about, Baker is two boxes in hand, but the difference is about 40 plus the strike, Phil. Baker, one, seven, six, ten, right. He's shown us some big shots before, but he's running out of time and needs to start making some more now. Harsh game, Candleton. At a 143 in the first one by 16. <clears throat> Just missed by a hinge. Less than that. Scott at 142, 108, one in the second. Baker on the Audra pin, one for a tough seven. Just 68 through seven. And he needs a double minimum. It's getting to be that point, yes. He's done it before. One, two, and a seven. I'm not going to give away too much of the his match against Chris Sargent, but he had one there. We'll talk to both bowlers before I sign off. Baker. Oh! Unbelievable. Scott Lappy looking really good for $2,000. Baker at 10. 80. Make that 78 through 8. 78 Temp through 8. Tempo's quickening. Five in the strength plus a strike fill for Scott Lapierre. Baker's enjoyed a lot of success as recently as yesterday. Today's not his day, but what a great effort. Lapierre for double, burning double strike! The dagger! Crowd goes wild! 
113 through 8, 123 plus 2 through 9. Uh, hit the double. Another $100 in bonus money for 400. I'll keep track. one by That second line with a 399. Seven in the first strike ball. One, three in the 10. For a spare and double strike. Yes! Unbelievable performance! Scott Lafayette on fire! Three times this ladder series hit 150 plus. 140 through 9, 150 and a ball in the 10th. Absolute clinic. And a 419. He's over 400 again. Up to left six. 156 for Scott Lafayette for Sanford, Maine. What a performance. He's going to win $2,000. The number five seed has won the ladder. And another $100 for, for another 400. 400. Yep. Now Johnson's going to have to wash dishes to pay for all this bonus money. Baker, got that one to go. Sure. Spare in the ninth. 80 to ball through nine. The number one seed has been ousted by the number five seed who took out Jay Simino, Paul Markey, and Dean Sullivan. Not an easy ladder. And now Sean Baker. On the bonus, strike on spare. Nice finish. 98 through nine, one away plus two in the 10th. Hang on, the jackpot's not safe yet. <laughs> There's still money on the line. No, I think you guys just let, let them enjoy it. They don't need me out there. Baker. Six. Bonus money available if he can get another uh, spare here. Yeah. What is, um, Scott one ball to go in the match. It's been a great one. Nine. One. Will it go? Hold on, yeah, it does go, but delay! Oh, he got money. Bonus money! $25 that one. So 50, 100, 25, 25, 275. Nice finish in a losing seven, effort from a great bowler. 156 for Scott Lapierre. Sean Baker, 117. I think that's 118. It didn't count that last one. That last ball. 118. And a 369 for Baker. 369 for Sean Baker. 425 for Scott Lapierre. Scott Lapierre wins the second last series of the season. Okay, I gotta get the microphone on. And I guess they knock the roof. Come on. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Ready to go? Oh, no, we're going to go. All right. We'll talk to Scott in just a minute. Sean Baker. Yeah. What a start out of the gate. Nice first string. And then Scott Lapia went Scott Lap Scott Lapia went Sean Baker on you. Oh wow. Well, I wouldn't call it that. Yeah. I, I, I would say I would say Scott was Scott. Scott no, he, Scott's, no, he's, a really, he's Scott's, a, Scott's Scott's a really good bowler. Yes, he is. And he got going. I just I you know, just got a little heavy on the head pin. I was starting to chop a little bit and uh, he he took advantage of it and, and kinda how it went. Not a bad weekend. Not $1,000 won the nine pin tournament at Haverhill Mass yesterday at Academy Lane. Oh, I forgot about that already. <laughs> Did you spend it all? No. This, this, today's another day and whatnot. And $1,000 run up today. Yep. Congratulations on a great run. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Sean Baker, thank, thank you very much. How about this? You're not supposed to be here. On paper, you're out in the first round. You've gone five through four through three through two. You're now king of the ladder, number one. I like it. I like it. Wow. Yeah, good game to finish. Like and you, said, I know how to finish. How much bonus money, Greg, did he get? 775. 775 in bonus money, $2,000 to win. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Yeah, and I'll definitely be giving some back to Cannabis for Cancer, too. Yeah, I will so, take it off for yeah. the bonus money I pay out today. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hey, what do you want? $5 for a lemon drop? In the $5 in the mark for a lemon drop, yeah. Lemon drop, yeah. Right, thank you. Actually, right? there's high interest on Sundays. Oh, is that what yeah, it is? Overtime. <laughs> triple, triple time. Right? I know. I wanted that triple. I knew that was more money, too. I told I you. You walked in with the wild shirt, and I told you there's power in the wow. Yeah, you got to buy a wow shirt. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, that
Let's bring on his 11-year-old son, Benjamin. Benjamin, more Christmas gifts coming your way. Yeah, they Maybe. are. What's on, your, what's on your Christmas list? Um, a new car. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of things. Yeah. I want Pokemon cards, skateboards, everything. At least those are cheap, right? Yeah, yeah. those are cheap. Yeah, right. I can do that. <laughs> bring on his mother. State winner yourself. Is what national winner is yourself? Come over here. Like mother, like son. Well, I guess. I'll I'll take the I'll take the credit. <laughs> been bowling since he could throw potatoes down the hall. Now in your prime against him, would you beat him in your prime? I don't think so. I don't think so. Not a good fight. Yeah, but no, I don't think so. He's been it's he's just talented. He just has what it takes, I guess. Okay. Congratulations. Okay, okay now I need an official three letter word to describe winning the five seed all the way to the number one seed, winning two thousand dollars plus a million dollars in bonus money. Wow. Right. Wow. Thank you very wow. much. Back to Greg, <laughs> we got Bob Lee to wrap it up. Thank you guys. Thanks so much, Paul. And on behalf of Paul Grant, Bob Lee, my name is Greg Guyar. Thank you so much for watching this presentation of Candle Pins for Cancer and Candle Pin Bowling Network. Thank you to everyone watching across the WON Media Network. And until next ladder, so long.